Hello guys, welcome to my reboot series of in Introduction to Gaming in Linux. I call it a reboot because I basically made one absolutely ages ago and well I ended up deleting it quite a few months uh, after because I thought it was a piece of crap. So basically my Introduction to Gaming in Linux series will include basically me talking about Wine, how to install it and what it does and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the second one will be about Play on Linux, which is free, like Wine. Uh, the third one will be... Let's see, think about that. That will be Crossover Games. That's obviously... Well, it's not obvious. It's pay, basically. You pay for that. And the last one will be about Game Tree, which is basically a reincarnation of Kadiga, or Sadiga, however you pronounce it, which was closed down and basically stopped being developed quite a couple of months back. So yeah, moving on to Wine. Wine basically stands for Wine is not an emulator. For some reason, I, I actually don't know why it's called that. I don't know why it's not an emulator or anything. Someone meant, spoke to me about it once in one of my videos and I was completely mind blown by it. And you know, it's not really that important to be honest. Basically, why it's easy to install, you can either go to your Ubuntu Software Center or Synaptic. And like I said before, it's completely free. So if you go into here, it will install, by default, the stable version. The stable version being, as it says there, Wine 1.2.3. This is quite an old version, but as it says, it's a, apparently the most stable one. But what I usually use is the development one, which is the latest one, so go away. And I usually go with what you have to do to get the most, you know, latest one. Going to be a download, and I will put the link to these in the description, by the way, so nice and easy for you. All the distros here, obviously Ubuntu for me. And easiest way to do it is add the repository by typing that into the terminal. I'm not going to do it since I already do. I've already done it. That into the terminal. That will add the repository. Update to update the repository and add the latest version of Wines into your database. And then you can run that because it's there and you can install it. And you should have the latest version of Wines. Pretty simple to be honest. Uh, I recommend getting that version of Wine 1.3 because a lot more games can run on it. Well, I reckon they can anyway. So, if we go on Wine, configure Wine. Let's see, 1.3.20. Okay, that's how you install it basically. So, once it's installed, you can obviously install games and all that stuff. Oh, wait, I'm already open there. Okay. Basically, when you come under Wine Configuration, you can add games like I've done here. And what you can do from here is change all these to a different Windows version. So, if you had an old uh, game, like 1998 or something, you can add it into here. Just add application and basically look for it in wherever it is. And you change it to like 98 or 95, and it can make some games run. Uh, I've had to do it in the past, not too sure what games. And also, if you go to audio, I've had to use this quite a few times actually. Once it loads, yeah, whatever. Usually there's OSS, but I don't know where that's gone. And to get a couple of games working, I've had to go on here, hardware, and turn, change that to emulation. It makes a lot of games work. If it's, you know, if I've had to use that, then I've probably put it in the description for the game, you know. Okay, moving on to the application database. This is basically showing what games work and what don't. So it's best to look in here if you're gonna purchase a game. So basically it's got Platinum, basically it runs great. You know, equal to how it should run in Windows. Some say better, but that's very rare and I don't know if it's true on any games really. There's gold, which, yeah, as it says, work, work flawlessly with some special configuration. So, for example, configuring that 
or uh, using wine tricks, which I'll show in a second. Silver, yeah, some issues on them, um, but you know you can still play the game. But you know it has some glitches, like graphical glitches, or the mouse is all jumpy or something. Okay, so you can search for a game. You know the game that you want. So Portal 2, for example, and it's got the different versions. Some have like loads. And it basically tells you what works about the game, what doesn't work, what wasn't tested, and the additional comments which usually say how to fix any bugs which are occurring in the game. So, for example, when uh, I, I had troubles with Portal 2, I came across this, and some guy asked why the mouse was being all jumpy, which it was for me. Some guy replied quickly, saying, windowed with borders, and that pretty much worked for me. So, you you find it's helpful on some occasions. Yeah, wine tricks as well. Wine tricks, you sometimes require this to get games working, so like the default wine prefix, yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Wow, well, this has completely changed from the last time <laughs> that I used it. But yeah, install a Windows DLL or component, that's usually, yeah, see. So if you need DirectX 9 or .NET 30, which a few games need, and it's just easily install, you just click it and OK, it should just run and install like it's doing right now. OK, so pretty simple to use. I recommend getting Wine as the first thing, as it's the most popular and it runs the most games and, you know, it's, it's just easy to use. You just double click on the .exe files and it should just run. Some games, obviously, or applications have problems. Don't expect them to work. You know, you can also contribute to this app database by, you know, making a login. And if you've got a game and you don't believe, like, for example, if that's platinum and you have problems with it, you can submit your own test results and say this game has this sort of problems and whatnot. I've done that quite a few times with some games. I've had to update it because I've said it doesn't work at all and it worked absolutely perfect for me. It's quite strange sometimes. Okay, so that will basically be it for... There you go, see, planning. You can look, submit so, some photos as well. Installing Team Fortress 2, so nice tutorials. That will be it for Introduction to Gaming Linux number one. Next one will be number two, so click on the annotation in the top right corner. Should be there. You know, it won't be there instantly because I, I won't have made a video yet. But yeah, click it when it's there, the annotation. And thank you for watching my video. Please thumbs up, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. And see you later, guys.